Overnight, Texas lawmakers moved to set aside hundreds of millions of dollars to tackle the staffing crisis we're seeing at nursing homes in our state before adjourning the third special session. During the pandemic, the Labor Department found more than 300,000 employees resigned from nursing homes and assisted living facilities. KXAN's Avery Travis has more on why the money is more important now than ever. Anything for mom or dad? No. We would not be here today, I would not be sitting here today if we did not have a devoted uh, staff. But the executive director at Buckner Villa says they haven't been immune to the labor shortages facing other nursing homes and senior living communities. They particularly need staff caring directly for residents, such as certified nurse aides or CNAs. And that's where we're hurting the most. A recent survey of more than 200 nursing homes in the state showed every one polled had vacant CNA positions. 70% said they couldn't compete with other employers. 63% had no applicants at all. Because there's not enough of me to take care of all of you, then I start feeling like a failure and I'm diminished. Lori Porter is the head of the National Advocacy Group for CNAs. She applauded the Texas legislature for thinking long term about bolstering the long term care profession. Lawmakers designated $2 billion for the state health department to provide surge staffing in these homes, along with hospitals and infusion centers. And in the funding bill, they earmarked another $200 million for nursing homes, too. They're going to use these funds for things like recruitment bonuses and retention bonuses and and and, and to be able to pay for for hero pay and incentives and, and all of those things necessary to compete in these hyper competitive markets. But Porter hopes the money can be used for the education and recruitment of new staff as well. A whole new care force throughout Texas. Avery Travis, KXAN News. The Department of State Health Services and the Health and Human Services Commission will oversee the distribution of this money, likely in the form of a grant program for facilities to apply for. The National Association of Healthcare Assistants plans to launch a new National Center for Certified Nursing Assistant Excellence in Texas, and they hope to, to provide more training as well as job replacement for CNAs. Right now, 76% of Texas nursing homes are relying on more double shifts and overtime than a year ago. 61% in fact are relying on staffing agencies that can often be expensive. 